walking out in the street, I met a little creature without any feet. They slithered slowly on their belly, all alone. Can you help me? They cried. I can't find my home. Oh dear, I said. I'll try my best. We'll find where you belong in your home, house or nest. We'll work it out and we'll follow the trail. What kind of creature are you? I think I'm a snail. A snail? Are you sure? You don't have a shell. Yes, I'm quite sure I am. Can you not tell? Well, perhaps you're a snake or a wriggly worm. No, I don't think that's right. They began to squirm. I wish I could help. I can't make head nor tail. But I'm telling you now, I am a snail. And just at that moment, who should slide past but a family of snails going nowhere fast. Excuse me, I asked. My friend here needs help. I'm all alone, they said with a yelp. You see, they aren't quite sure where they belong. They say they're a snail, but I think that's wrong. Why do you think that? The big snail spoke out. If they say they're a snail, have we reason to doubt? But you all have shells, and they do not. I just know that I am. I'm quite confident. You need no shell. We won't make a fuss. If you're a snail, you can come live with us. Oh, really? They squealed. That's ever so kind. Of course. They all cried. We won't leave you behind. But I still don't understand. If they're a snail, I can't tell. That's because you're busy focusing on a shell. Tell me, how will you know if I am funny? Or if I am suffering from a sore tummy? I suppose I will ask. Or perhaps you would say... So there are some things you can't tell straight away. If someone decides to tell you who they are, make sure you listen. Your friendship will go far. And off they all went trailing their tails. And I knew for sure my slimy friend was a snail.